In this episode, we're taking a look at Cisco's new Certified Support Technician certification. So stay tuned and don't forget to click like, subscribe and that notification bell. Welcome to Debt Free and IT. I'm your host, Mike. This podcast is for anyone who's looking to get into the IT industry, whether it's for a career change or you're just interested, I think you come to the right place. By now, I'm sure you heard of the CCST networking certification as well as the CCST cybersecurity. So these two are entry level certs that came out roughly about a year ago. So these certifications, so they're good stepping stones that leads to a higher level certification. So the networking one is a good one to take before leading up into the CCNA. And then the site, the cybersecurity one is good for going into the cyber ops associate certification and then available this June. So this current month that we in available in June, we have another CCST certification coming. So it's the Cisco certified support technician IT support certification. And today we're going to take a look at the cost of this certification, some of the topics covered, and why you should consider getting this certification. So the first thing I think we should look at is some of the exam details. So this exam is roughly a 50 minute exam that tests for your foundational knowledge and skills related to IT support tasks. So this exam, it also doesn't require any prerequisites. So you don't have to have any other cert or any kind of experience before. So it's perfect for anyone that's looking to transition into the IT field or into the IT industry. So anyone that's looking to stand out when you're applying to different job roles or anyone that just wants to become better at their current job if you're already in tech. So especially if your current job is doing IT support and you don't have no kind of certification, some organizations would will give you a, an incentive, incentive such as a pay increase or a bonus or something for getting a certification that has to pertain with your current role. So this may be an option for those people. And then this exam is going to help prepare you for roles such as the IT end user support, computer support specialist, and also the IT help desk analyst. So at the time of doing my research, I wasn't able to find a price for this exam, but I suspect that it's going to be roughly the same price as the other CCST certifications. And they come in at roughly about $125. This exam can also be given by a proctor either online or you can go to a testing center that's local to you and take this exam. So sorry to interrupt this video. According to my YouTube analytics, 84% of my viewers are not subscribed. If I provided value to you in any one of my episodes and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so as it does help out the channel. And also, if you're listening to this in your favorite podcasting app, please leave me a review or a comment and share this episode with a friend. Now back to the episode. So the next thing I think would be good to take a look at is what type of domains is covered with this certification. So this certification covers IT support, job tasks and responsibilities, hardware issues, connectivity and resource access issues, operating system and application issues. And that's just to name a few. So after reviewing the exam topics, it's clear that this certification is going to prepare you for those technologies that's commonly used in these entry level support roles. So one of the standout aspects to me was to focus on the ticketing systems. So learning the ticketing systems and tools for assisting end users. So these are things that are used every day in these support roles. So it will help shorten the learning curve because the average person, when you get into a support role, most of the time you never had to remote into anyone's PC. Because most of the time this is going to be your first position. So you don't know any about you don't know about any kind of remote tools. You don't know about the ticket system. You don't know that, okay. Every call I get, I need to take the user's info and then also put in what kind of issue the user will have into our ticketing system. That way, if that issue comes back, we can look in the ticketing system and see that, oh, this is a recurring issue for that user. So this certification is going to help prepare you for that. So in my eyes, I think that makes the learning curve a little bit shorter once you get in at your start of a position because you already are familiar with the terms of, okay, the ticketing system. You're familiar with, okay, remote desktop or being able to remote into a PC to troubleshoot it. You're familiar with a lot of these terms and a lot of these tools that you're going to use in these IT support roles. So the next thing to look at is how to prepare for this certification. So as of now, there's not been any cert guides released for this certification. So in the past, usually once the certification is announced, roughly about a month or so later, they start coming out with the cert guides for this certification. And then, like I said, 
a little bit after it goes live, I would say be on the lookout for any kind of cert guides. But usually, you know, for me, when I study for a certification, I like to have three different types of study tools. Well, maybe four. So I like to have a book to refer to. Also, I like to have a good video course that I can look at. And then also I like to have some kind of labs. If there's a labs that, that's going to be that goes with that certification, I like to have labs. And then also I like to have some kind of certification exam prep. That way I can start taking that exam prep a couple of weeks before I take the exam. So from my experience with these CCST certifications, a lot of times you're probably, I would say a good book or maybe a video, some videos on it. Or if you already have some knowledge of this entry level IT stuff. So if you already have some knowledge, you already have some other certifications and you just decide you want to take this one. I would say I would take a swing in the park and probably do a little bit of prep on it. So I wouldn't take no months, especially if you're, if you're, if this is not totally new to you, I wouldn't take a, I wouldn't take a couple of months or anything like that. I would probably do it maybe in a month or less. So that's if you're already familiar with it. Now, if you're, if this is currently all new to you, I would wait on those certification guides. That way you have something that you can create a plan with and use as to go along with your studying process. And then also find a good exam prep that you can use to start studying and pass this certification. So why should anyone get this certification? So this certification, I think, is one to consider if you're transitioning to the tech field. So if you're currently in another field and you're trying to transition, this will be that low hanging fruit that could help get you into the tech field. You know, I'm not going to say that you must have this certification to land a job. But obtaining this certification will make the process a little bit easier. So for me, like I say about the other CCST certifications, they all serve a purpose. And also all of these tend to lead to a higher level, a higher level certification. So they serve their purpose, but a lot of them are meant to be stepping stones. They're meant to give you that confidence boost to where you can go ahead and get this certification and then just keep running and go to the next certification. So. That's something that when I create my plan, that's something I would have on my mind. So, OK, I'm going to get this support certification. Hopefully this support certification will help me get in the door. Like I said, it's not guaranteed. Nothing's guaranteed. But hopefully this certification will help me get in the door. And then after I get in the door and start increasing my skill set, then I start figuring out which way I want to pivot. Do I want to pivot in networking? Do I want to pivot in cyber? Do I want to pivot in applications? I want to find out where I want to pivot and then I'll be able to start knowing what certifications or what type of training I need to go after. So that brings me to the end of this episode. Hopefully you found some value in this episode. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're on Instagram, TikTok or Facebook, you can follow me at Debt Free and IT. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me at Debt Free and IT at gmail.com or you can visit my website, Debt Free and IT with Mike.com. Other than that, I'll see you next week. Peace.